Welcome to Clutch Talk 101. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the game last night, 49ers at, or I, excuse me, Los Angeles Rams at San Francisco 49ers. So I was correct on this pick. I didn't expect the Niners to score this many points. <clears throat> and the Rams are looking just like how I, I thought they were going to. They have no identity in their run game. Allen Robinson is MIA. He obviously was not a good replacement for Odell. Odell made that wide receiving core legitimate because it took away a lot of pressure off of Cooper Cup, allowed him to be Super Bowl MVP, huge run in the playoffs, all that. The only good thing on that entire team right now is the Cooper Cup to Matthew Stafford connection. And they threw a pick six last night, throwing a screen to Cooper Cup when they had been doing that all game because that's all they had to do. <clears throat> no receivers were getting open besides Higby. That's their tight end. Uh, 49ers are so well coached, and their defense has always been stout. Jimmy G. Can we all pump the brakes on the Trey Lance thing now? I mean, when it comes to quarterback attributes, did they really look that much different from each other? Trey Lance did not look that great at throwing the ball. He was making irrational decisions. Jimmy Garoppolo, people critique him for not having the greatest stats. He'll have those plays. <clears throat> but he tends to make plays at the end of the game. And he gets the ball to his uh, playmaker's hands. I mean, look at the game that Debo had last night. Jalen Ramsey is extremely overrated. I've thought that for years. Uh... Ever, his last great year was when he played for the for the Jaguars when they went to the AFC Championship. Other than that, he's been like kind of amongst the greatest in the league, but not like sure shot the greatest. Uh, Aaron Donald, obviously not having nearly as big of an impact without Von Miller. I think Aaron Donald is one of the greatest D tackles ever, but him alone out there is not going to work. Um they need somebody to take some pressure off him. Same thing with Cooper Cup. And neither of those things are happening. Um, Rams, I've been predicting it from the beginning of the year. I think they're going to go sub-500, 8-9, 9-8. Um, unless they address that wide receiver position. Unless they like, re-sign Odell back to the team, which I highly doubt. Um, they're running out of draft picks. They're running out of cap room. That screw the picks ordeal that their GM did. Yeah, it's great for one year, but then you're going to have about six to seven years of decline. So was it really worth it? I honestly don't think so. San Francisco is probably going to win the NFC West. Uh, Arizona, to me, is very inconsistent, and their defense is pretty terrible, and Kyler Murray is just first read, dip out of the pocket. Seahawks have great players around them, but can Geno Smith really lead them to a playoff run? I highly doubt it. But, you know, who knows if he makes a wild card push at the end of the year. They've looked like a good team. Like, their cohesion has looked really well. But I'm not going to put them up in the same, same breath as the 49ers when they just made the NFC Championship last year. So, I think the Rams are going to struggle this year. I think they're going to continue to struggle. And... Try to find their identity. They're going to keep making the same mistakes because they just have lack of depth. They have no depth on that team. And that is affecting them terribly. That loss last night was kind of a shot at... I, I, I feel like that was the beginning of their... Um, they kind of had a hint with these weak wins they've been getting and how they got crushed by the Bills. But after this loss, I think they got an idea, an idea of like where they're at as a team. Like, we're not... We're not as where we were when we were Super Bowl champions. I think Sean McVay is smart enough to realize that, so hopefully he can make some adjustments, but it's going to be hard with absolutely no depth.